Hey everybody, Jason Shadrick here with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the Summer NAM Show in Nashville. I'm here with Rick and Bill from Valve Train. And Rick, we are just hearing your guys' new cleverly named boost pedal, yes, right? Yes. So tell us about the name of the pedal, the idea behind the name, and what it's all about. Well, what we have here is our, uh, our boost pedal that we call the Ghost 211. If you say it fast enough, you'll understand that it's just short for Goes 211. As far as the pedal goes, it's what we're calling a translucent boost. It's not a transparent boost. It doesn't make any sense to me. I wanted something with a little bit of thickening in the mids. It's kind of like uh, thickening up au jus to get gravy. It just makes more sense to me. The pedal is designed to be a pretty much unity gain when you set it at 10 dial it all the way up, infinitely variable, up to 11. So now every amp, including yours, can go to 11. Uh, what you'll hear is that it's a very smooth overdrive into the front end of the amp, and it's made for vintage amps to just pummel the front end of it. All right, so what we heard, Bill, on the intro there was it all the way up. So I will turn it all the way down, and if you keep playing, I'll slowly turn it up. Excellent. So, Rick, what will be the pricing and availability on the Ghost pedal here? One twenty-nine, and the uh, initial round is a bit, will be available Monday when we get back, starting the seventeenth. And uh, what well, hopefully we'll sell out of them real quick. So we're probably looking at about a six-week wait for the next batch. Okay. Okay. Excellent. You can find it at Ghost211Pedal.com. It'll take you right to the uh, the page for the pedal. So, also in that, if we turn the pedal off here for a second, we were playing through your new Thunderball amp here. So, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the inspiration behind this amp design that we were listening to. Okay, the Thunderball is about as close to a reproduction Supro Thunderbolt as we could make. The transformers come from our good friends at Classic Tone in Chicago. They transformers are from the original blueprints. They were wound on the same machines as the Valco parts were in the 60s. Um, not knowing well, to leave well enough alone, I decided to add some modern tweaks to it. We have the Governor Control, which was originally pioneered by Dennis Kager of Ampeg and Sundown fame. We added a bright switch and on the back is a pento triode switch to bring it from 35 watts down to 17. And what mode is it, is it in now that we're hearing? Right now, we have it set in pure vintage Thunderball mode. Go ahead, Bill. Now, understanding that the Thunderball was a bass amp, we put a bright switch on it. And if you want to drive it up a little bit, a lot of people don't want to crank it full tilt, so what we do is engage the governor, bring the gain way up. So it's all about just vintage tone in a uh, cathode bias 35 watt package. So describe to me what kind of specifically the governor knob does there, because as you were turning it down it got louder. Right. The governor is a power reducing circuit, you can think of it as an attenuator, a master volume, a power soak. It, bottom line is, like a governor on a, on a car engine, you turn it on, the more you crank into the governor, the slower it gets or the quieter it gets. The thing about this is you take it out of the circuit completely, or once you bring it in, you can crank it all the way down, and it'll be, the amp will be about three watts. So even... So even with a drive pedal in front of it, it's down at pretty much bedroom levels, yeah. fully cranked and then you can take it out of the circuit as much as you want. Yeah. 
and that's the Thunderball. What will be the pricing and availability on the Thunderball here? Uh, availability is orderable now. We got about a six week wait on delivery on most of our amps. Um, pricing is $11.99 if I remember right in the head and $14.99 in a 1x12 or 2x10 combo. Okay. All right. Well, let's switch it up here and bring in John and we'll talk about your other two amps here. So that was John, uh, John Connolly from Kenny Chesney's band, here to help us demonstrate this next series of amps that we're talking about here, Rick. So we were listening to the M45 on that intro. So tell us a little bit about this one. All right, the M45 is our uh, part of our pro series. This amp is the result of what would happen if you were able to get better parts when they built the original JTM45. It's got a heavy duty power supply. Uh, same output transformer to give it the characteristic tone of a, of a JTM. We added the governor control to it, like the most rest of our Pro Series amps, and we did all the things that we thought we needed to do to, for the modern players, like internally jumper the channels. And the other thing that we've done with this particular amp is this has a speaker that we've been working with T.A. Uh, Weber on for about four years. This one is a British voice speaker, but has a little chunk of neodymium in it to accelerate the highs. So this is kind of a back to the future kind of speaker, um, which is really like the way it sounds with this particular amp. The whole idea of this amp is, and all the uh, Pro Series are now available in combos this year, is a 45 watt gigging amp in a one by 12 or two by 10 format, as well as the head. Yeah price point on it's $16.99 and that's pretty much about it. I mean it's a straight up JTM 45 built with better parts and uh, tighter low end. So where can people go online to find out more information about your Pro Series amps, the new pedal and everything else that Valve Train's doing? You just go to www.valvetrainamps.com and on the top menus it has amps, effects, all that kind of stuff. You can drop down and see where you know, all the specs and everything are there. Rick, thank you so much. Thank you. John, we're going to have you play us out in one second. This is Jason, this is, <laughs> this is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com. All right, John, take it away.